Yeah, I got it. Hold on. Hurry up. This is the footage that most Americans have never seen of the U.S. war in Afghanistan. It's part of a documentary called Combat Obscura, which was filmed by a Marine Corps cameraman, Miles Lagozi. Being a Marine Corps cameraman, he acquired such unbridled access that his decision to release the film is causing a stir in the Marine Corps community. And the film nearly wasn't released. Combat Obscura was filmed in 2011 in Helmand Province, Southern Afghanistan, one of the most notoriously violent provinces in the country. I sat down with Miles to discuss why he thought it was so important to release this film, and also what his fellow Marines thought of it. What is the message you want the public to take away from the film? Um, I guess I just want people to have a really raw and honest look at what the war was actually like, you know, because when I came back, I um, was kind of struggling with how I felt about it. It was very conflicted and um, wasn't really seeing any depictions that reflected my war experience. The, the Iraqis or Afghans aren't really humanized, and it's often about, you know, the struggle of the troops. And of course, my film is from the perspective of the Marines, but I want it to be a more, I guess, critical look at what we were doing out there. And when I started including everything in the film, it became, like, really cathartic. Cathartic how? Cathartic in just being honest, like, not trying to meet people's expectations of what the war was like, but showing the, you know, the dirty, the ugly, the, the really heinous aspects of it that we kind of tend to, we tend to want to forget. So there's only one blurred face in the film. Yeah. Does that mean that all of the other guys? All the guys smoking weed, yeah. The guys smoking weed, but also other instances that are a bit uncomfortable or a bit sort of sexualized almost. Yeah. And all, the, know, all those guys. Yeah. All the, all the potentially embarrassing stuff. They all give consent? Yeah. Okay. This, this footage is from, you know, seven years ago. How are you, like, all these guys are out of the military. They've given their consent to be in the film. Um, the statute of limitations was passed. I had, my lawyers had told me that, you know, there's no way that they could be retroactively, like, dishonorably discharged or anything like that. What do you say to the Marine Corps veterans who watch the film and who get angry and who say, this is tainting an institution that I served, this is not everybody's experience. Yeah, I mean, we're not trying to universalize the experience of, of war or the Marine Corps or the military. I think it's important to have as many voices out there as possible, and including critical ones. We should be openly engaging with veterans from all different types of experiences. Instinctively thanking people for their service and not questioning what it was like is really dangerous. In a statement to NBC, the Marine Corps said, quote, the behavior and actions depicted in this film do not live up to the high standards we expect of our Marines and do not represent the experience or attitudes of the vast majority of Marines who deployed and served with honor and distinction in Afghanistan. The Marine Corps also added, while we contend that at least some of the content of the film produced with Marine Corps equipment during a Marine Corps deployment and not cleared for public release by any official release authority is rightly the property of the U.S. government, we do not plan to pursue any legal action against Mr. Lugosi at this time. So I heard from Miles, and I got the official word from the Marine Corps, but I wanted to see what your average Marine Corps veteran thought about it. So I gathered a group of Marine Corps veterans, and there were a lot of different opinions. I want to kick off the discussion with you, Thomas, since you served right around the time that the film was shot in some of the similar areas. What did you think of the film? So I thought it was a very accurate depiction of my combat deployment to Nawa, Afghanistan, rec or recognizing that we were 18, 19 year olds who had no idea about yeah. the geopolitical situation in which we were in. Yeah, looking back on it now, being a little bit older and just recognizing how young we were at the time is just kind of a little startling. The film really portrays the war in a way that people haven't seen before. Kyle, what did you think of, of how the, the Marines were portrayed? I think the depiction of a lot of the games, the joking, um, the crass behavior, um, 
sometimes even the flippant bigotry, you know, I mean, unfortunately, those are things that are there. So I definitely think there's a place and a need for the unfiltered. Uh, I was disappointed in the film that it lacked a lot of context. Uh, I think it had a, I think there was an agenda in the editing. Uh, while it was strong and some really powerful moments there, I think they left some things out. I'd also like to have seen a little bit more perspective from the Marines who were actually involved. Like he, again, I would agree with you, it seemed like he was picking the points in time that told the narrative that he wanted us to hear. Um, which I have I had a problem with. I'd kind of have a, a disagreeing kind of perspective than you. That was completely my experience. And, and I appreciated the artistic quality of the editing to where I had no context for what I was doing. We were dropped into a place, and we were heloed off, and we walked into our combat outpost. What do you guys think about the fact that he took all of the footage with the Marine Corps equipment? Well, when I was a Marine, I was a uh, a very similar job to what he um, did. I did not film anything I did not want my colonel to see. Yeah. Um, I, I have a lot of problems with what he's done ethically here. No one owns my story. Yeah. No one owns... So I used a Marine Corps issued rifle to kill somebody. Does that mean that the Marine Corps is culpable for that act? It's my life and it's my story and I think that I should be able to tell my story I kind of want to finish off. There are some moments in the film that are emotional and hard to watch. What were some of those moments that really made you feel any of the emotions that you felt being being back there? I was in my family room with my fiance during the scene when he was on top of the roof with his Mark 12. I was a DM in Afghanistan. And I was up and I was screaming, I was jumping because I, he's going to get shot. He's going to get shot. And so, and then he did. And I, and I was like really freaking out because I knew he was gonna get shot because they were taking very, very accurate fire. And, and so the fact that it did happen, that was very triggering for me because you just wanna, it's like your PTSD, like your event, you just wanna change it. You wanna do anything you can to change that event. Something else that was really frustrating to me to watch was um, the sheer frustration that they felt when they were out working with the villagers and you just see the complexity and you see like the impossible situation. You don't know who the enemy is in some cases. You're trying to tow this line between keeping yourself safe and hearts and minds and like trying to actually build a relationship with these people and it's just an impossibly complex scenario. And I look back again and think, how could these young kids, I mean, be equipped to deal, to deal with that? You're, you're not. So while the institution of the Marine Corps objects to the film, it's not like all Marine Corps veterans are totally in support of it either. They do seem to agree though, that a better understanding of combat can help the DOD, lawmakers, and NGOs better take care of veterans when they come home. Hey NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.